everyone, this is Britt, the concept artist here at Longbow Games, and what you're watching right now is the painting that I did at the Fan Expo, a promo for our game Hegemony Gold. Uh, this painting was kind of based on the concept of Michael and Lucifer. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the statue of, uh, of Michael with a spear about to uh, slay Lucifer after he fell, but uh, that's kind of where the concept came from. Um, but obviously here we've placed a Spartan and an Athenian, although you can't tell which is which yet. Um, generally when I paint, I start with a basic sketch after I do some thumbnails, and then I start to, as you can see now, lay down some uh, flat color. Uh, right now I'm working in the background. It helps to give me a source of light for the rest of the sketch when I go in and uh, do a little bit more of a cleanup. Um, when I'm cleaning up a sketch, usually I, I use the the base forms and then I'll do the uh, outfit and everything on top of it. Even when I'm doing my cleanup sketches they tend to stay pretty rough. This is because I know that I'm eventually going to end up painting over the lines anyway. Um, sometimes when I do line art I'll spend a lot longer working on a very um, precise uh, uh, line sketch but that isn't the case here. Um, so as you can see now I'm laying down some flat colors. I always do this um, first, uh, even though the colors aren't going to be probably anywhere close to what they will be once there's uh, shadows on them, but I always find this gives me a better idea of uh, where objects are and how they're supposed to interact, and uh, it lets me do a more universal lighting once I start getting the lighting in. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to define the shapes in the background, bring out the hills and the rocks, um, lay down some shadows. Uh, so you can see here I put a multiply layer on just to make a base shadow and then carve out the light from it. It's not always the best technique to go through when you're working with shadows, but it helps me to find the shadow forms a little bit better and then I can paint over top using the more particular colors. Um, here I'm color picking in order to lay out some more basic shapes for where the light's going to go and to help define it a little bit better. Um, as you can see, the Spartan uh, outfit that I have on right here isn't quite exactly hoplite armor. Um, what I ended up doing is taking uh, the hoplite armor that we were using in the game and uh, the hoplite armor that we use for the um, promotional work and kind of merging the two uh, to get a little bit more of an overall uh, uh, color coordination going on just for this piece. Um, one of the things about doing a video game uh, with historical characters is that you still want to be able to tell them apart, which is why we have the, Athen uh, the Athenian blue versus the Spartan red um, a lot more dramatically than probably was uh, real in history, but um, I think it works well for a to, ha to get more of a versus uh, perspective. Uh, so here you can see that I've been carving out a little more on the rocks. I like to use selections during this process because it allows me to get a little bit more hard edges and I can be uh, a little more free when using uh, the brush to uh, carve out the shapes. Uh, a lot of the time when I'm painting uh, I tend to use a slightly textured brush just because um, it gives a little bit more of a roughness to uh, to the lines as I put them down. and I. I think it blends in a better way than doing uh, a soft blend just because nothing actually is nearly as soft as the gradients, but uh, when I'm laying down light like this I often use a very soft brush because um, that way the light's a little bit more uniform. Um, so you can see here that I'm still just kind of uh, working out the edges, putting in highlights uh, everywhere, um, trying to bring a little bit more light into the shadow even though it's obviously going to be fairly dark. Um, here I'm going to lay down some texture. Uh, all my textures I get from uh, cgtextures.com, which they do uh, uh, royalty-free textures as long as you take only so many a, a, a day, and I really recommend them. Uh, they've got a really great library. Um, so I, I use the textures to, uh, to help give some realism to um, uh, any objects that I'm putting in, and especially when it comes to rocks, because it's, it's very hard to paint some of the really detailed structure for rocks, but just laying down a texture and then painting over the texture to kind of bring out the shapes that I 
imagine in it and that I can see in it um, helps to give it a much more uh, realistic and much heavier feel uh, and also gives a little bit more interest I think to to uh, to the background um, they're putting in some atmospheric perspective there as you can see um, I tend to once I get to the stage in the painting work both on the foreground the background and the background all at the same time kind of how my eye um, sees it uh, though I do try and uh, keep the layers mostly separate so that if I have to remove um, uh, elements or move elements that are in front of other elements that I don't have to repaint the whole thing. Although uh, after a certain point um, when I have a pretty firm grip on how universal I want everything to be I will end up painting everything um, on top just so that uh, <clears throat> I can make sure it's uh, a lot more uniform. Here you can see I'm just fixing, I found some problems that I was having with uh, the poses for the two characters, so I'm fixing where their legs are and how their balance works a little bit. Um, make sure that he doesn't look like he's falling over. Um, uh, I don't really have a problem with repainting stuff after I've already painted it. Um, Photoshop makes it really easy, that way I can just control uh, shift C and uh, copy all of the layers from a particular object and um, start repainting that object from that layer. At this point in the painting I'm really just painting over everything to make sure that everything's clean and clear and that the lines uh, no longer show up. Um, and also just to make sure that if there's any minor mistakes that I can go in and fix them and make sure that uh, everything is looking pretty much how I want it for the final piece. Um, uh, in, and yeah, and that includes doing things like making sure that there's actual shadows in the hands, which uh, up until that point I didn't notice, or bringing out the feet and making sure the ankles uh, not twisted in a weird way. Uh, yeah, pretty much at this point it's just clean up. Um, highlights start coming out. Um, I'll start laying down a little bit of blue in the shadows just to get that ambient light coming in from the sky. Uh, things start to get a bit cleaner. Uh, a lot of the times on a painting like this, I'll spend a lot of time polishing um, and doing things like carving up the rocks, as you can see here. Uh, I'm doing a little less polishing on this painting than I might on a production work, uh, since this is a promo piece and because it was uh, uh, during the con. Um, generally speaking, a lot more textures might go down on the figures, but uh, I kind of like the rough look that... Uh, a general brush stroke will give so I'm not uh, too picky about it. Um, you can see here I've been kind of avoiding working on uh, the figure on the ground up until now uh, because there was a few things that I didn't really like about his pose so um, but going through and editing them uh, just by using the uh, uh, full layer copy that I was talking about before uh, makes it a lot easier so I can just completely copy his head and then move it somewhere else and then put his neck in a different position. Um, at that point I can get a little bit better of a feel. Um, sometimes it's better to keep to your general sketch and to make sure that your sketch is polished enough to uh, to be able to hold up the entire painting, but because I do everything on separate layers and be uh, because I'm much more used to working in Photoshop than in traditional media, I find it a lot easier to just be able to go in and edit everything that I'm working on uh, later, whereas in, I think, if you're working in paint or if you're working in oils, obviously uh, you wouldn't be able to have that kind of flexibility. So that's one of the reasons that I, um, generally speaking, only work in uh, uh, Photoshop. Um, so I'm coming a little bit to the end here. Basically just, I wanted the foreground element to be a bit bigger, so I made the rock a little bit bigger. Um, still cleaning up stuff. Uh, but as you can see, we're basically at the point where, um, for this particular image, uh, that I'm going to uh, call it done. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching uh, this video, and I hope that anything that I had to say was at all interesting. Um, if you want to know more about the game, please check us out at longbowgames.com, uh, Hegemony Gold, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!